Hopefully, a quick recap of Raw. Welcome to Raw Talk. There's going to be a link down below in the description box, as always, to credit WWE for piecing this together for me exclusively. Drew McIntyre came out and he fist bumped a, a fan. I always like to mention that because he's a heel. He's a bad guy. No, he's a pretty good guy. He's a good guy. He faced Cody Rhodes. It was a great match until Jimmy and Solo ruined it. And then Cody Rhodes got Samoan spiked. This was uh, kind of expected in a way, to be honest with you. But it's one of those things, again, where I just wish we could have had a clear, concisive winner where things are clean. Drew didn't ask them to join into the melee. But there you have it. Vignette promo with Andrade. Great as always. I love how they do the vignette promos. They tend to be uh, pretty decent quality production. And I can't wait to see what comes of him. He's actually married to Charlotte Flair, if you didn't know. So Ric Flair is his father-in-law, in case you were curious. little FYI for your information. FYI. Yeah. Wow, that was a fail. Yeah, can't wait to see what uh, kind of storylines they're going to have around him. Cody backstage says that he's fine after his jugular ate the Samoan spike from Solo Sokoa. Tells Pierce, you know what? I'm fine. I'm good. Pierce says that he's probably going to find Jimmy and Solo. And Seth walked in. <sighs> Taps Cody on the leg. Walks out. The Last Chance Women's Battle Royale. Raquel Rodriguez won the whole thing. And I do like Raquel. And this is going to sound rude, but I'm going to say it anyways. I don't, I don't understand the whole, like, double arm flexing look at my back. Because I'm thinking Rhea Ripley, Ivy Niles, Zoe Stark. You know what I mean? Like, for me, it makes more sense for them to do that. Raquel, I'm like, okay... The, like an Amazon, you know? You got the, the like the muscle, like the, the beefiness, uh, if you want to call it that. There's not much of a bicep peak. I don't know. It's just a, it's just a weird thing, like I said, that I see. And then she did it like two or three times. I'm just like, what what is that? You wouldn't catch me flexing. I don't know. I just, I just find it weird. Because it's like a, a big showdown thing. Like it's uh, some kind of bodybuilding competition. I'm like, that ain't it. That's that's not it. I was hoping Shayna Baszler or Zoe Stark was going to take it, but I'm not against Raquel Rodriguez. I'm really not. Like I said, I do like her. Maxine was in there. She was the first one eliminated. And like I said on my stream yesterday, rude, crude, no sugar coating, right to the point. There can't be any sugar because that, that's bad for the diabetes. But she doesn't belong in the ring. Your ass belongs outside of the ring. So that's that. Backstage, Jay Uso cuts a promo on Gunther and then love Jay, but yeah, we all know that he's not winning that shit. Backstage interview with Rhea and Nia Jax. Nia just sucks on the mic, just very generic. I'm just not invested in what she has to say, and I'm truthfully just not sure how she's getting the push that she's getting. I just, I don't, I don't get it. Jackie Redman then interviewed R-Truth. Man, this thing for me was hilarious. It was like, just like, oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta see it for yourself. You could probably look it up. I don't know if it's on here. Uh, it's probably up here somewhere. It's possible. But yeah, it's pretty funny. Backstage promo with Chad talking about Ivar and then Ivar talking about Chad. Our truth in the Miz with DIY, aka DX, versus the Judgment Day. This was an amazing match. They finally let our truth shine. Man, this guy could move. He like reversed and ah, oh, the not the end of days. My goodness, this is not Baron Corbin. South of Heaven. My goodness, this is why I could never be on commentary with Michael Cole and Pat McAfee. I don't even know half the terminology. I just, I loved it. It really showcased that he can shine. He did a wonderful job. And, uh, yeah. They still lost, though. The Judgment Day did defeat them. Whatever. 
Jackie Redman again with another great interview with uh, Sami Zayn. Been kind of doing those like every week. Becky Lynch for an in-ring promo about the Elimination Chamber. Then Liv comes out. She's not happy with Becky. Boo-hoo-hoo. Then Raquel comes out. Tiffy comes out. Naomi. Bianca. I missed the part where Nia Jax came out, but she laid out everybody. Made her look like a Brock Lesnar kind of thing. And it was just kind of weird. Backstage promo with Gunther talking about Jey Uso. That one, for me, was great as always. And as well as the vignette promo with Shinsuke Nakamura. Chad Gable versus Ivar. For me, this was a wicked match. Really, really, really good match. And he defeated Ivar with the ankle lock. Just great. Backstage Drew interview. Basically him justifying the bloodline getting involved. Because people are saying that he's a hypocrite. He's like, hey, I never asked him to come out there. New promo. New promo. New day promo about Imperium. They have a street fight next week on Raw. That's going to be cool to see. I have a feeling that's going to be a pretty good match. And then in closing, how the hell long is this vit? Really? I'm already at seven minutes? Or only at seven minutes? Gunther versus Jey Uso for the championship. I mean, let's be real. Gunther is not dropping the longest title reign in history with the Intercontinental Championship on a Monday Night Raw. It's not happening. So just let the match play out. However, however, Jay still looked good. And then Uso, Jimmy that is, rang the bell, disrupting the referee. Made it look like Jay was going to win. Jimmy screwed him. And that was the end of that. Then he just attacked him, laid him out. Nobody came out to his rescue. Yeah. Wow, that kind of wraps it up really quick. However, I did I did enjoy myself, as I said. Sometimes there's going to be moments where I'm like, eh, you know, that's not it. Like I don't I don't remember that part. I don't think that was that was there. Oh, I think sometimes what you see with like the featured videos, like most of these you do see actually during the show, but a a, a lot of these you actually um don't always get to see them because I don't recall seeing this play out. Oh, and then Michael Chandler calls out Conor McGregor on Raw. I thought this was kind of weird because he's just all like screaming at the top of his lungs. He's, rah, 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 rah. I'm like, bitch, you ain't the ultimate warrior. You know what I mean? Like, simmer down. Just calm down. Not supported by your browser. Yeah, they're just showing kind of like features. These ones at the top don't necessarily have to do with the actual raw that just went down. However, most of them do. And you can, like I said, watch a lot of these little snippet highlight recaps if you want. That was a perfect screenshot right there. Boom. Anyhow, I really don't have much else to say uh, about this week's raw. It was fine. I enjoyed myself and I am just really excited to see what happens with the whole uh, Elimination Chamber? I mean, I'm really, really pumped for that. And aside from the typical, usual, subtle nuances that I experience with any show that I watch, there's always going to be something I could find to complain about. I just, I had fun. It wasn't like the most exciting one of all, but it was fun nonetheless. Like I said, nowadays, in, in like the past, like decades... It's been like this for a long time, but I'm just saying, and I've said this a million times before, back in the day when you would watch your weekly televised wrestling, you never ever had things like a Drew McIntyre versus Cody Rhodes. You just, you didn't have it. It just did not exist whatsoever. You would have something like Cody Rhodes facing off against a local talent, Drew McIntyre facing off against a local talent. They would save these kinds of banger matches, if you want to call them that, for what they used to call back then pay-per-views. 
right? Because literally you would pay per, like I need to explain it. The premium live event thing. Maybe I'm just conservative when it comes to that. I just don't like the terminology. I'm not saying it doesn't make sense. I'm just, eh, you know. So yeah, there you have it. Thumbs up as always if you liked the video. It does greatly help support the channel. I'm going to make another video on this so I could scrounge up another 10 views on my channel. And how ridiculous it is, but you can edit it. Yeah, thumbs down if you didn't like it. And as always, a solo Samoan spike in, in, uh, in the rectum. And if you want to subscribe to the channel. Exactly. I don't need to finish that sentence. And if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care. And maybe I'll see some of you in the next one. Bye for now.